All right, what's happening, guys? It is Wednesday, October 19th. Classic Chris here with another episode of Wrestling Talk. And today, we are addressing the rumor that's been going around recently that WWE is planning to turn John Cena heel. Now, I know what you're thinking. Um, this rumor's been around before. It's been said before that John Cena's going to turn heel, but it just never happens. But apparently, WWE is actually taking it seriously. According to Forbes.com, the idea of turning John Cena heel soon has been tossed around the WWE offices and they're considering doing it. WWE Creative has been talking more than ever about a potential John Cena heel turn. As it currently stands, there has been a lot of ideas floating around that would put John Cena in a position to make a turn. Similar to Hulk Hogan did when he joined the NWO in the 90s, but they've been consistently shot down by Vince McMahon. WWE Creative has also been trying to put together plans for a stable of some sort, but but don't want to introduce a new faction without a long-term plan. Which is smart, because last time they brought out a faction, League of Nations, it sucked shit. It seemed like they had no goal in mind. In fact, it just seemed their only job was to go out there and get beaten up by Roman Reigns. It was weird. League of Nations had, like, no motivation, no focus, no set goal as a faction. Like... Maybe if their um, idea was like, we're out here to dominate the WWE, we're out to take every championship, but that was never said, that was never brought up, and it just seemed like they're there to be Roman Reigns' punching bag. But right now, we're talking John Cena heel turn, and the idea is that the stable can help enhance the WWE product, which will include John Cena. But here's the thing, though. How many of you really care about John Cena? Like, I I'm not a fan of his. Uh, maybe if you turn him heel... It might be a little bit better, but I just don't see him winning me over. I don't see him winning over men, like the adults, people that, you know, have the jobs. Just saying, like, I, I just don't get it. John Cena is not a person that's going to be taking my nine ninety nine a month just so I can see John Cena matches. No, I like AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, Nakamura, NXT, going on and on. But I'm getting off topic, and I apologize, guys. See, right now, it's kind of smart if they do turn John Cena heel because he's a babyface, but he's not over like a babyface should be. Who remembers Hulk Hogan in the 80s and 90s? That guy was fucking over. Um, dads would talk about him at the bar, like, you know, having drinks. Like, who do you think would win in a fight, Hulk Hogan or this guy? Like, Hulk Hogan was revered as a badass. He was revered as a strong guy. John Cena is just... He, he, it's stupid, man. Like, it's the same shit. He, it, it, it's played out. That's the, that's the best way I could say it. it is fucking played out. Now, people are going to say, well, you know, Chris, um, Cena, you know, he's good for business. He's good for the children. Okay. Hulk Hogan, as a heel, still did his uh, Make-A-Wish programs. Actually, NWO did a lot of uh, charity work that... WCW didn't publicize because they were heels. Like, just because a guy goes heel doesn't mean he still can't do everything he was doing for charities. So get that fucking idea out of your head. I'm just saying that right now because, you know, people are like, well, you know, John Cena sells merch. John Cena does make a wish. Well, Hulk Hogan did all that stuff. And Hulk Hogan as a heel was back to being over with the men. NWO shirts were hands down the hottest selling shirts next to Austin 316. Those were the top selling shirts of that era. Um, but yet, people want to be like, well, you can't turn John Cena heel because of the kids. Well, here's the thing. If John Cena is such a good role model, why the fuck has he done some of the most heel things in the business? Okay, l let's just, let's just run some things down. These are just some things, okay? First off, let's talk about Big Match John taking on CM Punk for the WWE World Championship at Night of Champions. John Cena has CM Punk set up for a German suplex off the second rope. Cena hits it. Both men's shoulders are down. Ref counts. One, two, three. Match ends in the draw. John Cena literally only has himself to blame because he didn't properly bridge out of that. But yet, he's going to go and complain, bitch and complain to the ref. That's something a heel would do. That is something a heel would do. It's not, it's not my fault you couldn't bridge properly. Your shoulders are down. Punk's shoulders are down. One, two, three. Draw. That's it. Moving on, Zack Ryder. Who remembers Zack Ryder basically getting crumpled by Kane? Okay, at that point, Ryder's with Eve. Um, Kane corners her. Shocking. John Cena comes to the rescue, saves the day. Backstage, Eve thanks him with a kiss that John Cena reciprocates. Fun fact, though, 
who's right there in a wheelchair holding roses and chocolates for his girlfriend, Zack Ryder. Now, you don't get much more heel than that. Make it out with a dude's girlfriend right in front of him while he's in a wheelchair. Now, come on, guys. Like, if John Cena did that to me, you're a dick. You're a piece of shit. Still not convinced about how uh, John Cena acts heel? Okay, let's put it this way. John Cena has basically made it his uh, passion, it seems, to beat up non-wrestlers. Who remembers John Cena beating up Michael Cole for like 11 minutes? Uh, his match against John Laronitis. Okay, these guys are not wrestlers, but yet Cena is having fun beating the crap out of these guys for like 15 minutes. Like, that's ridiculous. John Cena also threatens Paul Heyman. In fact, Paul Heyman is also not a wrestler. He is the advocate for Brock Lesnar. In fact, if Brock Lesnar didn't come down to save the day, John Cena would have beaten up Paul Heyman. Now, Paul Heyman getting beaten up by a wrestler? CM Punk did that, but CM Punk was also screwed over by Paul Heyman at Money in the Bank. Who remembers that? But John Cena beating up on Paul Heyman just doesn't make sense. You're supposed to be the good guy, John. And also, John Stewart. Who remembers when John Cena AA John Stewart? John Stewart, basically, you know, he apologized for what he did at SummerSlam, costing John Cena his United States Championship. He he basically he said what he said why he did it. Like, you know, I want to protect Ric Flair's uh, streak. But long story short. That doesn't matter to John Cena. Picks him up. AA's a 50-year-old man. Again, also, not a wrestler. And I quit matches. What is the purpose of an I quit match? When your opponent says, I quit, the match stops. End of story. Not in John Cena's case. John Cena with against JBL. Both men. Bloody as hell. Blood all over the place. Cena has his big pipe. JBL doesn't want to get smashed with it. He quits. He says, that's it. I quit. John Cena wins the match. What happens? John Cena still follows through with beating up JBL with the pipe. Heel tactic. Next, another I quit match. This time with Bautista. Bautista's on the, on, they're on the top of the car. Cena has him set up for an AA. So he's going to AA him onto the entrance ramp. Bautista, fuck that. I'm not taking that. I quit. What happens? Cena still does it anyways. What's the whole purpose of I quit if, if, if the person quits and you just continue? It's like torturing somebody, and once you get the information from them, you just continue torturing them. Like, what is the purpose of that? Like, John Cena, he's not a baby face. It's just ridiculous. Then, now, let's talk about Night of Champions against Seth Rollins. John Cena defeats Seth Rollins, gets back the United States Championship. After that match, Seth Rollins has to defend his championship against Sting. Okay, yeah, it's it's funny how the WWE put your heel champion in one of the most babyface scenarios of the year. Stack the decks against Seth Rollins so much that that's what you do with babyfaces. And they overcome the odds. Rollins puts on a good match, loses the championship back to John Cena. So he's like, fuck this. You know what? I need some time. I don't want to fight Sting right now. So he grabs his belt, tries to leave. John Cena cuts him off, gives him an AA onto the floor, and puts him back in the ring. Cena, your match was over. The fact that Rollins didn't want to go on with his second match, that's Sting's problem, not yours. Again, Cena sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. Lastly, Rey Mysterio becoming WWE Champion. And the first time in Rey Mysterio's long career, he becomes WWE Champion. Huge pop. Fans loved it. It was a huge moment on Monday Night Raw. To what happened? John Cena reinstated. He never really was fired. You get a title match against Rey Mysterio that night. Not even two hours after becoming champion, Rey Mysterio is forced to defend his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against John Cena. Now, a babyface or a man would have said, you know what? Since I want to get my title shot, let's do it next week. I want the champ at his best. Nope. John Cena's like, fuck that. I want my title shot. I want to take it right now. And what happens? John Cena, new WWE champion. I I just don't get it. And people are like, well, he's a good role model for the kids. Okay. A good role model is uh, saying, you know, you got an opening, just take it. That's what heels do. That's what heels do best. So the whole John Cena turning heel isn't really a stretch. 
He's still not going to be over with me. Will he be over with you? That's my question I'm asking. If John Cena turns heel, do you care? Will he be over with you? Leave a comment with your thoughts. Like the video. Subscribe. Keep watching Wrestling Talk with Classic Chris. And don't forget to check out my YouTube channel, Classic Chris. Your home for everything Wrestling Talk. Plus every single match I have called. That's right. From Neo Wrestling Federation, Conflict Wrestling, and also Crossfire. Check them out. Check out the YouTube channel. With that being said, I'm going to wrap things up. See you next time on Wrestling Talk.